Now to our weather, let's take a live look over to Coma, where it looks to be pretty cloudy outside. So if you have any plans to be outdoors, you should know that it's not going to be a lot of sun. Also in Seattle, as people head to the Kraken game, Expect some clouds, but what I don't know, though, Jessica, is we'll have if uh, rain is in the forecast tonight. Yeah, it's kind of been drizzling here and there. Let's check in with meteorologist Leah Pizzetti for what we can expect. Steve, Jessica, it is Seattle rain, so it's light rain. It's not going to be anything heavy like what we saw yesterday. That is behind us. Looking forward, it's some light rain this evening, but it's really just for this evening. Heading into tomorrow, most of us will stay dry and clear to the south, but up to the north, you could see some light rain. I'll pinpoint that in just a moment. But we're also talking about a big warm up into tomorrow. It's been cool, cloudy, gray today. Tomorrow, most most of us will see warming and some sunshine as well. Yeah, if you are heading out to the Kraken home opener tonight in the next couple of hours, get ready for some light rain as you head to the game. But as you leave the game, you should be in the clear. We should see some dry conditions by the time that game wraps up, hopefully with a win. Satellite and radar showing the light rain that is starting to impact basically everybody in western Washington today. But the good news is, is it's mostly green. It's light green. It's light rain. So uh, not going to see any big impacts, heavy downpours like what we saw these last couple of days. But let's take a look wide and see what is heading our way these next couple of days. This is into tonight and tomorrow. We see this atmospheric river line up. So that is going to funnel moisture up to the north of us. This is mostly going to impact British Columbia, Vancouver Island. So we here in Western Washington will not see direct impacts, but some places could get a little taste of that atmospheric river. So as of this evening, it's just widespread lane rain for most of us in western Washington. As we progress into tonight, we'll see nice clearing for most of us, but we see this line of rain up here. So that is going to keep some rain for parts of us. So really, uh, Whatcom County up around Bellingham could certainly see some rain. Our northern coast could certainly see some rain through the strait, could certainly see some rain through about tomorrow tomorrow, but after that it falls apart. It starts to weaken dry out a little bit uh, and then we're going to be on top for a dry couple of days for basically everybody. So rain totals. This is really interesting. When you take a look at the map, we see most of us in Western Washington, nothing expected, but there we go. Bellingham quill. You could see a couple tenths of an inch through about tomorrow. So uh, some of us could see some rain, but most of us will stay dry. Current temperatures right now in the 50s. Let's add on 10 degrees into tomorrow. Daytime highs for tomorrow. We'll see 60s and even some low 70s on tap for western Washington. The coast will stay cool in those 60s, but around the sound 60s into the low 70s and then also as we head toward the mountains 60s into the low 70s. So a dry and yes, sunny day on tap. It's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. You want to get out and enjoy it. It'll stick around for a couple days. We'll continue to see temperatures right around that 70 degree mark through about Thursday morning fog is certainly going to be a problem the next couple of days because of this moisture that just dropped uh, by Friday and Saturday. We start to cool, but we stay dry. It looks like next weekend and early next week brings more showers.